It's our last, uh, it's our last full day here today on the east coast of Greenland in winter, and uh, it's been an interesting day. We've one of the hunters actually came to our cabin earlier this morning to see he'd seen bear tracks, and actually he'd seen a bear on the ice uh, quite far. So we dressed quickly and um, drove out there. We didn't see it, but uh, we found tracks, and we have been following those tracks for the last three hours. Um, Pretty much now we're at the end of the road. We just can't go any further. There's mountains and rocks and it's just not possible. But um, we've seen a lot of bear tracks. There's a mother with two cubs uh, and there's bigger male as well. And it looks like they went down over the rocks and walking down there, we can see there it looks like there was some kind of struggle as well. Maybe a fight. Um, it's very frustrating because day after day seeing tracks and not being able to find bears to photograph is very tough and um, you know, it just goes to show you there's a vastness to the landscape out here that is just monumental. And uh, just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of square kilometers of ice to search. And uh, let me try and show you these bear tracks here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but hopefully you can see these, these bear tracks. So this one... This particular uh, bear is probably a male by the size of the track. Um, he's also been breaking through. The snow is very hard here, but because he's so heavy, he's, he's busting through and leaving, leaving prints. The mother and cub were much harder to spot, actually, and harder to track. But that's it. That's the end of the road. We have quite a long snowmobile drive back now to our cabin. Plenty of time. Still got fuel in the mobile. Um, unfortunately, my back is really bad. I have either a... It's either a herniated disc or a, uh, some sort of mechanical issue in my lower back and it's just causing a huge pain in the sciatic nerve. So I'm glad it's kind of over for snowmobiling actually when I get back, um, back on the painkillers. Um, so that's it, east coast of Greenland in winter. No polar bears, um, unfortunately that we got to photograph, but they're here and they're migrating past this point it's just a great spot for them. I mean, we've seen fresh prints here now multiple days. So I know this is the place to be for bears in winter. And, you know, no other human being for a long, long way. And just this incredible landscape. I mean, see if I can get up with this back. And hopefully you can see behind me just this incredible vastness of the landscape here. Partially frozen ocean, the pack ice the icebergs, it's just stunning landscape that really, you know, I feel very blessed to actually be here. It's an incredibly special experience. And as I've said in, you know, in nature and wildlife photography many times, you know, you, you have to fail a lot. Really, this process is about failure. Uh, success is very, very rare. Uh, especially with this type of animal, polar bears like this. But you have to have had a great day out in the field, even if you didn't get a photograph, you know, uh, that you wanted. And the feeling of being out here is very, very special. So I was actually supposed to be here for another full, I think it's seven days. But because of the COVID-19 crisis that's going on at the moment and the borders being closed, Greenland is actually already closed to incoming flights. No one can come here now, um, but they're actually going to close it completely on Friday at midnight. Uh, today's Wednesday. Uh, I've been able to make some sat calls and we've, we've got, uh, got our flight moved up. So the charter flight and helicopter to come and get us will come and get us tomorrow. And we should be able to get out and back to Iceland. Uh, I'm gonna be very sad to leave here because this has been you know, I, I don't like the term life-changing experience, but it's such an incredible place. The silence is deafening. The vastness of the landscape, the beauty of the landscape, and the privilege to be out here um, and experience this in winter is really, really quite something. So there we have it. That's probably my final update from East Coast of Greenland this winter. Hopefully everything goes well for our exit tomorrow to reverse engineer ourselves back to Iceland. 
we uh, have to snowmobile back to uh, the Inuit village from our cabin and then we'll have to leave quite early in the morning, probably before sunrise. And then uh, hopefully the helicopter is waiting for us to take us to Constable Point. And from there, the charter flight hopefully is there to take us back to Iceland. So we'll see. In the meantime, it's a long snowmobile drive back. That's it. That's it from East Greenland.